Hi, it's Alexander from Galileo Sky. Earlier you learned how to find the gas pedal position and engine speed data. Now I'll show you how to search for mileage. Have a look. So here's the first thing you need to know. The vehicle's mileage usually takes from 2 to 4 bytes of information. It depends on the units and measurement accuracy. For example, in kilometers or meters. Secondly, remember that the mileage may be at the bottom of the ID list. Next, to find the mileage, you need to know it. It is usually displayed on the dashboard. Don't forget that data in the panel may already be recounted and can look different in CAN bus. For example, the panel shows the mileage in kilometers, but CAN bus uh, counts it with accuracy of 100 meters. And here is the last thing. You can search for parameters with an already recorded log. It means that it is not necessary to be in the car during the search. This is convenient since you cannot delay the car and have to let it go. I'll tell you more about this. The CAN logger tool in the CAN scanner tab will help you to write the log. To use it, you'll need Galileo Sky 7X, 7, base block or OBD2 unit with firmware 2010 or higher and configurator 4, 19, 3 or higher. How the process of recording and decoding of the CAN log is arranged? Let's have a look. Connect the device to the CAN bus. Start data receiving. Then start log recording. After that, let the car go. After that, replay the log and get the ready to analyze data on the server. Now let's have a look at CAN log interface and its controls. The tool is located in the upper right corner of the configurator screen. It consists of three parts controls, recorded data from CAN bus, and colors for highlight. To start recording a log, connect to the CAN bus, start messages receiving, and press the record button. After that, all messages will be displayed in the window in the same order they were received. CAN logger is the very handy because while recording messages, you can color periods. This will narrow the search for desired parameters. After recording, save the log to a file using the save button. The file will be saved in REC format. You can open this file for viewing in CAN logger or in configurator only. Now let's play the log. To open the recorded log, click on the load button and select the recorded file. Further, all recorded messages will be displayed in the message window. Now play messages by clicking on the play button. Recording is no different from how the canvas works in reality. The only thing, you can control the playback, stop at any time or, for example, play forward. Also, messages can be played one by one with buttons. They appear as soon as you stop playback. If several color periods are recorded, then these buttons can be used to switch between them. They allow to go to the first message of the next or previous zone. And also, to make it easier to replay the log, a loop button is provided. It can have three stages – without looping, looping the entire log, or looping inside one color zone. The clear button is needed to clear the window of recorded messages for rewriting the log. Pay attention that previously recorded messages will not be saved. Now let's record the CAN bus log to find the vehicle mileage data. There are three options. Record a trip after driving from 5 to 10 kilometers. Record the log before and after the trip. In this case, you need to fix the mileage before and after. Or you can find the mileage CAN ID in advance. Just have a look at the dashboard of your car. Let me explain. Let's assume that the mileage on the panel is 82,000 for kilometers. Now open the calculator in the CAN scanner tab. Enter the number and get it in hex format. It would be 014054. Now the car is parked. It means that mileage value doesn't change. Therefore, we mark all IDs with these values. We mark all similar bytes in IDs. Pay attention that now we don't know the direction of reading, so you can search for bytes in the opposite order. It may be that mileage data in the CAN is transmitted not in kilometers, as on the dashboard, but in meters, with an accuracy of hundreds of meters, for example. Now you need to change the mileage. To do this, let's take a small ride. Start the log recording now. So we change the mileage and have a log. We also remember the value of the mileage before the trip 
and we know the mileage after it. Let's check the IDs we noted earlier to see if they have the correct value after the trip. Enter the value of the mileage after the trip in decimal format and get the value in hex. Compare the value with the previously marked bytes. Look, it looks like the marked identificator 5C5 and 2nd, 3rd and 4th bytes are what we need. All the rest remain the same or have incorrect values after the trip. To make sure that the parameter is what you need, you can make one more test ride. So, we determined the mileage parameter correctly, and in Nissan node it is transmitted into 5C5 identificator in 2nd, 3rd and 4th bytes. Now we send it to the monitoring software. To do this, select the tag for transmission and mark it on the protocol tab in the main package. Pay attention that it is not always possible to find the mileage based on values you know. Also, you may not know in which number systems it is transmitted in the CAN bus. Therefore, if you can't find the value in advance, record the log and keep an eye on each increasing parameters in it. Ask the driver to keep the same speed so that the mileage parameter changes in approximately equal intervals. And yet, look at the number of kilometers you traveled. Look for bytes that have changed in a similar value. That's all. Watch the next video where we will look for the fuel level. Alexander from Galileo Sky was with you. Goodbye.